So it's Wednesday, which means one thing, we're hanging out with Chef Dave at the butchery. We're only eight days away from Thanksgiving. And just because you have all this crap going on, that doesn't mean that you can't give thanks and you can't destroy a turkey. You may not be having a lot of people coming over, but you can still make a feast for your family and deliver some to your loved ones as well. That's why Dave's here. Did you get your turkey from him yet? And he, you were telling me something interesting, okay? Normally, Dave, you were telling me, I'll let you explain this. You're selling 18 pound, 20 pound turkeys or whatever. This year, you're selling a lot of smaller turkeys, but people can get the smaller turkeys, right? Yeah, totally, totally. They're shifting to the smaller, uh, fresh birds, most definitely, uh, because you know maybe smaller gatherings or whatnot. But they're uh, and they're but they're buying more. So maybe maybe a family that would normally get a 16 or 18 or 20 pound bird is getting two 10 pound birds. We're gonna cook one for us, and then we're gonna send one off to grandma and grandpa or aunt and uncle or whoever else. Yeah, you know what the beautiful thing is, if you guys haven't heard this yet. Every turkey that he sells, he's donating one as well. I mean, how cool is that? It's a window into his soul as well. But today, what we're doing, all right, first of all, get your turkey, get it from him. Yep. I did, Mike, you did too. I got my turkey, I can't wait to come get it. We're both coming in on Monday to pick up our Amish turkey. He's been talking these turkeys up really since the summertime. But today, Dave, what are we doing? We got three different types here. We've got, we broke down three birds. So we spatchcocked one, right? So we just took the back out of it. Took the whole back out of that bad boy. Split the breast a little bit. So you can roast that much more evenly and get, or smoke it, get a lot more uh, even cook or flavor on that. And you said it would take a little bit quicker time too, right? Yeah, It'd be you're, faster. You're, gonna, you're, gonna cut, you're probably gonna cut about a third of your time out of there. Uh, uh, your what do you time. recommend? Because that, that, I'm getting that exact same turkey. What do you recommend? Smoke or, or put in the oven traditional way? You can do either or, okay. but I would recommend throwing that bad boy in your smoker. I okay. think it'll turn out really nice. All yeah. right. Because that's, I mean, that's kind of fun we've been having is with the smoker lately. So that's probably what I would choose this year. Um, then we got the, the uh, traditional bone-in breast, right? So we just yep. got the full bone-in breast, and then we roast that. that that'll that go pretty quickly for you, um, as well as the boneless breast. So we took this thing and we butterflied it a little bit here. We're gonna stuff it, uh, roll it up, and, and roast it. Yeah, you know that one intrigues me. That's what, that's what I'm gonna do with mine, and I've got a special stuffing that I'm gonna do with it. I think it just adds something different. Something different. Come see the man. We're gonna get to work. Talk to him.